Hello Freunde and welcome to my channel. My name is Victor, I am from Berlin and I'm on my way to become an outstanding filmmaker. If you want to follow my journey and join me in learning more about tech, photo and videography, make sure to stay. Today we want to talk about cinematic background. With a high probability, you have already wondered what these strange black bars in the big Hollywood productions are supposed to do, right? In my case, I remember how my mother, after buying a new TV back in the 90s, complained that the picture does not fill the whole TV, aka photos regeneration. Anyways, while we as rookie filmmakers call it black bars, real professionals call it letterboxing. So the purpose of letterboxing is to transfer the film shot into a widescreen aspect ratio while preserved the original aspect ratio. Back in the days of the good old VHS, it was usually used to place hard subtitles within the mat to avoid overlapping with the scene of the image. These days, beginners and professional filmmakers still use it to give the film material a certain cinematic look. So we want to turn the boring Fortress V look 60 to 9 cinematic look. In this video, I tell you how to add those cinematic black bars to your videos by using Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's go. First, for sure, you should start your Premiere Pro. So you open Premiere Pro, create a new or open an existing project. In this case, I already prepared a project. The next step would be import some footage. I prepared some stock footage for us. Look at this, import it. As you can see, we have a nice footage with a drone flying over a wine field. After inputting the footage into your project, just drag the clip into your timeline. This will automatically start a new sequence for you. Now that you see the clip into your timeline, you can drag around. So the next step would be to create an adjustment layer. The adjustment layer will help you to easily remove or adjust the bars across all the clips. After creating the adjustment layer, drag it over your clip and adjust it to your clip. So now that we prepared everything we need, we want to add the effect. In this case, we are looking for the effect crop. So just type crop into your effect window and looking for the transform crop. Drag that effect onto your clip and we are good to go. So now we equipped the clip with the crop effect. Now it's time to add some attributes to the crop effect. Therefore, go to the effect controls panel and now you can see the function crop. Because we want to crop the top and the bottom of the clip, we should choose top and bottom. I use 13% for the crop, but feel free to use any number you want. I find that what's the best ratio, but that's up to you. So as you see now, we added a black crop on our clip and basically we are done. So we now have the cinematic black bars and they will stay as long your adjustment layer are on top of your clips. But if you want it a little bit more cinematic and want it to crop appears with the beginning of your video, watch this. So go back to your clip and go to the first frame of your clip. Now we want to add keyframes. For adding a keyframe, just click the add or remove keyframe button. Boom! And as you can see, we just added some keyframes for the top and bottom crop. Set these crops now on zero, because we won't have any crop at the beginning of the movie. What I usually do then is going back to, let's say, something around two seconds, but you can adjust it by yourself, and then add our eight 13 percent crop. And you can see they set automatically two new keyframes. And what we now have is that smooth transition. Look at this video. Boom. It's awesome, right? I hope this short tutorial helped you to continue to create more awesome content. What else did help you to create more cinematic videos? Drop a line in the comments. And if you would like to see more little tips and tutorials and reviews of your favorite tech, smash the subscribe button and leave me a like. Thank you and bis bald, euer Victor.